Hello, I'm Bill Lampton, often referred to by my clients as a speech coach for champions because I help people speak with poise, power, and persuasion so that they can generate applause, agreement, and most importantly, the action that they are seeking as speakers. Today I'm wondering, have you had the experience where there were people in your place of work that it just seemed you could not possibly get along with no matter what you did? Day in and day out you had those problems? Well, I worked in management for 23 years and I experienced that as well. Sometimes it was with my supervisors, sometimes it was with the people I supervised, sometimes it was with people on my peer level. We often call this a personality conflict, but really it's simpler than that. And I have a solution for you today that you're going to welcome. I'm referring to the DISC system of personal style analysis. DISC, D-I-S-C. Each of the letters stands for one of the predominant styles of communication that people prefer. Let's look at them briefly. D is for dominance. Dominance is traditionally the CEO style of communication. This is a person who doesn't want excuses or reasons. This is a person that wants results. And not tomorrow, not even today, probably wanted them yesterday. Very impatient, not exactly strongly people-oriented, more task-oriented. The D type is the driver. You remember the D that way as well as dominance. The second type is quite different. This type depends for communication on influence. This is the influential type. Now the influential type is pretty much the cheerleader for the organization, the goodwill person. This is the type of person who comes into a staff meeting and as everybody's gathering and they're reading over the material, the agenda, this person starts cracking jokes. This is the life of the party. The third type is the S type that stands for steadiness. The steadiness type is the one who is the best team player for the organization. The steadiness type is, if they have a choice, going to be with the organization throughout their entire career. What's most important to the S type is consensus. Therefore, the S type is rather slow to change because the S type, the steadiness type, does not want to change until everybody is on board and feeling good about the new direction. The fourth type, the C type, is for compliance. Who is the compliance person? This is the person who, when you come into a meeting all excited, you have a suggestion for new directions for the organization. This is the person who says, now wait a minute, we can't even consider that. It's not in our budget. Or it's not in our master plan for this year. Or we've never tried it before. This is a person who's going to shoot your ideas down. These are the four predominant styles. Now let's think for a minute of the fact that there's really no right or wrong style. Whichever style you are, and you have a natural style and you have an adapted style, none of them happens to be wrong. In fact, when I administer DISC to individuals and for organizations, I administer the DISC survey form online. And sometimes people will say, oh gee, that's a test. And that's a mistake. It's not a test. It's just an analysis of your predominant style of communication. Another thing to say is that every organization needs all four types. Think about it. You need that driver, the person who pushes you to get things done. At the same time, you need the influential type, the cheerleader, to keep the goodwill going. You need the team player who wants consensus, and you need the compliance type who pulls all of us back to reality. Now, how can you find out your communication style so that you'll know what adjustments you need to make with others. It's quite simple. I can, I can administer for you online 
your uh, disk survey form through my company that I work with on that, Target Training International. Once we administer that online for a very small investment on your part, immediately you will get a report online of about 20, 21 or 2 pages describing in detail your communication style and telling what you need to do to relate more effectively with other communication styles. Very valuable for you not only with your organization internally but externally as well as you uh, move into sales, customer service, media relations, so both internally and externally is valuable. And guess what? <laughs> uh, have your family members uh, go through the DISC survey form as well, and you then can communicate more effectively as a family. Speaking personally, I've administered DISC to myself three different times, and every time the results came back, I just wondered who had been watching me shave every morning because I wondered how they knew me so well. Here's how to take action today. Email me, drbill, at championshipcommunication.com. Put in the title of your email in capitals, D-I-S-C, so I'll recognize it. Then, also, you could call me if you'd like to discuss it. My number is 678-316-4300. Again, in the United States, 678-316-4300. Please note that once you have received your survey form, I would be available for an additional moderate investment to have telephone consultation with you about your DISC results. I also come to organizations and uh, direct seminars on DISC once we have administered DISC for your personnel and for your leadership. Again, this is a very valuable tool. You'll be amazed at the results. I recommend it fully and I encourage you, contact me today. Again, thanks for being with me. I'm Bill Lampton, the speech coach for Champions.